After staying inside during the pandemic, celebrities have made some big changes with their looks in 2021. And those are the celebs we're going to be talking about in today's video. Let's get into the top 10 celebrities who are unrecognizable in 2021 part 6. And at number 10, Faith Hill. Faith Hill recently graced the cover of People magazine with her husband, Tim McGraw, and fans were shocked at her unrecognizable appearance. Some fans are even convinced that there's no way that it's Faith in the photo. She has light brown curly hair in the photo and seemingly a heavily edited face. Users in the comments section of the post are all shocked over the photo, with fans saying things like, quote, find Faith, because that can't be her. Another said, quote, that's not Faith, there's no way. But other fans came to Faith's defense, saying that nothing had changed and she was just getting older. Some even complimented the fact that she's embracing her natural curls. One fan clapped back at the haters, saying, quote, for everyone saying she's had work done, she hasn't. It's her darker natural hair she's embracing, and if you zoom in, you can see her wrinkles. They edited her a bit too much, but sorry to disappoint, Faith has had zero work done, she's a natural beauty. And at number 9, Sarah Hyland. Sarah Hyland is known for changing her look on a whim and has made several dramatic changes to her hair in the last year. And it looks like she decided to close out the year with a bang, and she debuted a new hairstyle at the 2021 E! People's Choice Awards on December 7th. The first big change with her hair happened back in February, when she transformed into a redhead. Then in June, she started wearing her hair curled due to curly hair extensions. And now in December, she's gone back to brunette and wearing blunt bangs along with the bob haircut. She debuted the look on Instagram, calling the look a quote, version of a Bixie, which is a mix between a bob and a pixie haircut. And at number 8, Chriselle Stouse. Michelle Stouse has been known for her long blonde locks since she graced our screens on Selling Sunset. But at the 2021 People's Choice Awards, she shocked the world when she debuted dark brown hair. Chriselle wore a plunging red gown by Italian designer Genny, which was a perfect complement to her new look. Chriselle has been seen out with her new boyfriend and boss, Jason Oppenheim, as of late, but walked the PCA red carpet solo. The two made their relationship Instagram official earlier this year. Jason said, quote, Chriselle and I became close friends and has developed into an amazing relationship. I care about her deeply and we are very, very happy happy together. Chriselle also revealed that the ladies of Selling Sunset had wrapped filming the fifth season of the hit Netflix show, so we might be seeing her new hair on TV very soon. And at number 7, Jade Klein. Teen mom star Jade Klein just showed off her new eyelash extensions, and fans were shocked to see how different she looked following multiple plastic surgery procedures that she underwent earlier this year. Klein has been proudly showcasing her new appearance on social media. She revealed that her transformation included having fat transferred into her breasts, while also having a Brazilian butt lift and liposuction as part of the transformation. Jade opened up about her quote boob job back in May and told fans quote no implants just some fat transferred, saying that they were the same cup size as before, just fuller. She also shared her painful recovery after her Brazilian butt lift procedure, admitting it was worse than she expected. She said during a podcast quote I saw so many people I knew that were having BBLs and I was so impressed and astonished at the shapes of their bodies. She revealed it was 10 times worse than childbirth. The upcoming season of the show is set to showcase her dramatic transformation. And at number 6, Tilda Swinton. One of the most dramatic transformation an actor's ever made for a role has to be Tilda Swinton in Suspiria, as the actress transformed into a man to play 82-year-old therapist Joseph Klemperner. Tilda revealed that she wore heavy prosthetics to play the role, and they started creating the prosthetics 18 months before they started filming. Tilda even requested fake male genitalia to go along with her costume just to ensure she was able to get into character fully. Her role as Dr. Klemperer has kept under wraps during filming, with the production maintaining the role was played by newcomer Lutz Ebersdorf. At the time, she rejected answering questions about the role until she spoke with the New York Times recently and revealed she was playing the lead role as a man. Halfway to number 5, Jonah Hill Jonah Hill is currently filming his latest project with Martin Scorsese, a Grateful Dead biopic where Jonah Hill is playing Jerry Garcia, the iconic 60s guitarist. New images have leaked from the set, showing Jonah looking very different than his usual self. He looked practically unrecognizable with a bushy beard and slicked back shoulder length hair. Garcia was known for his mane of dark unruly hair and matching beard, and it seems that Hill has nailed the look. Jonah Hill is not only acting in the movie, he is also a producer on the film. The film doesn't have a release date as of now, but it's being produced by Apple. This is not the only big change that Jonah has made this year. He dyed his hair bleach blonde in February and was rocking a surfer aesthetic before the big change for the film. In at number 4, Gina Davis. The 65 year old actress is known for her roles in classic movies like Beetlejuice and A League of Their Own, where she was known as the bombshell lead. But she was recently seen out in November of this year and does not look like she's aged gracefully. She was spotted walking outside in LA, wearing a scarf wrapped around her head, and walking in the streets barefoot. This was not the only time she was seen out and looking bizarre. She was seen out walking another time, also barefoot, while on the street. 
Public outings are not common for Davis these days. The last time she was seen out was when she celebrated the 30th anniversary of the 1991 classic film Thelma and Louise with Susan Sarandon. In at number 3, Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada Pinkett Smith looked unrecognizable continuing her role as Neob in the fourth film. The movie, directed by Lana Wachowski, is set to release in theaters and on HBO Max later this month, and Pinkett Smith is acting alongside Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann Moss. In the trailer, Jada looks completely unrecognizable. The makeup and prosthetics she wore while filming make her appear much older and totally different than how we recognize her. When recollecting her experience filming the franchise, she said, quote, It's so easy to forget how much noise the Matrix pumps into your head. Something else makes the same kind of noise, war. Pinkett Smith starred in the second and third films in the series, The Matrix Reloaded and The Matrix Revolutions as a Zion Rebel fighter. In at number 2, Demi Moore. Demi Moore shocked fans when she stepped out to attend the 2021 Fashion Awards in London. She attended the awards wearing a posh off the shoulder gown with leather gloves and a black cape. Her hair and makeup was simple, but it was her appearance that got people talking. Over time, it seems that her face has gone from angular to round, and she's done a number of facial smoothing treatments because there's no trace of a wrinkle on her face. Her face also has an unnatural appearance with a jarring contour line from her ears to her lips, creating incredibly defined cheekbones. But her new cheekbones are making her face look puffy and unnatural. And finally, at number one, Lara Flynn Boyle. Actress Lara Flynn Boyle was spotted out and about in Laguna Beach for a rare outing in November, and looked completely unrecognizable from her former bombshell self. She was out running errands while her friends walked their dogs by the beach. She was dressed casually, wearing oversized sweats and a flannel button-up, presumably trying to remain anonymous. She's dealt with rumors that she's changed her face for years with plastic surgery, as it's undeniable that she looks nothing like her former self. While she was out, she was wearing sunglasses that partially shielded her face, but it was clear she looked unnatural and puffy. That's all for the list. Before I go, I'm going to shout out some comments from Top 10 Secrets Meghan Markle doesn't want you to know. Corky said, The Brits aren't the only ones that don't like Meghan. There are quite a few Americans that don't like her either. Me again? That's funny. Uh, yeah, no, I think a lot of people, personally, I'm not the most fond of her, so I think a lot of people fall into that camp. CD Rex wrote, said, I'm American and I can't stand Hasbin and Meghan. Is that another word for Harry? Hasbin? These nicknames are so funny. Once they brought up this media showcase and then left the palace and all this stuff, I have been uh, liking her less and less. Let's just say that. Then Sandy said, they are making beautiful babies and no one can change that. Uh, that is true. I haven't really looked at their kids in a while, but uh, Archie was pretty cute when I saw him for the first time, so interesting comment. <laughs> I think people still dislike her regardless of how the children look though, unfortunately. Alright guys, that's all for the list. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith, and we'll catch you in the next one.